to your yoga practice. In today's pause, we are going to take some time to play with our balance and to really find what it means to balance. You'll need a block. So we'll start balancing on a block maybe. No, I don't think so because I'm not going to be in the camera. Let me do that. Scratch that. What do you want to do? Oh, that's fine. All right. Hmm. Hello and welcome to your yoga practice. Today's pause will have the focus of balancing. So to start off, we're going to work on tuning into some of the muscles that really help us to balance. So that's muscles in our abdomen, a lot of our ads or quadratus lumborum that wraps around our midsection like a corset. And also glutes will help us balance these outer hips. So we'll work a little bit at bringing some awareness to those muscles and then we'll get to standing and work on really evening our hips so that way we can feel a little bit more confident, comfortable, and maybe less fearful about balancing. All right, let's come to our mats. You will need one block later, so have it by you. Come to your back and just have a nice soothing position. Your hands can be at your side. They can also be cactus out by the side, however you want them. You can also place them both along like your waist area. And in fact, go ahead and do that. Place them along your waist. And then knees are straight up, feet are parallel. All right, and we're gonna play a little bit of a game. And if you want to bring your feet out a little bit more, you can, it's not a bridge pose setup. So in the game, we're going to pretend that first there is a teacup on your left knee and it is filled with fluid or with liquid of your choice. We don't want that teacup to spill, which means that we have to hug this left leg into our hip socket and allow it to not move. Keep your hands on your waist. So you're going to feel the muscles that turn on. Bring your right knee towards the right. Any amount. We don't need to bring it super far to feel our abdominals turn on. And the whole time we want to keep this left knee nice and stable. Inhale, bring that right knee up. Or actually exhale here. Inhaling, bringing that right knee towards the right, keeping the left leg stable. Exhaling, bringing it in. Inhale, out to the side. Exhale, and really feel your abdominals turn on. Let's do a couple more. Bringing it to the side. Bring it up. And then one more to the side. And back. So we're doing it one at a time at first. And now that teacup, bring it on to your right knee. On your inhale, drop the left knee down. Exhale up. You can even reverse the breath. So inhale it down. Exhale it up. However you want to breathe with this movement. Trying to keep that teacup on the right leg. It takes a lot of effort to keep that leg still. And your left leg doesn't have to go that far. We're not doing a quen butterfly. All right, last one. Bring your left knee towards the left and then bring it up. All right, this time teacup goes to the left knee. We'll alternate legs. Inhale here. Exhaling, right knee goes down to the right. Inhale it up. Exhale, left knee to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to the right. Inhale up. Try to keep that teacup. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, left knee to the left. Inhale up. Excellent job. 
All right, now let's come to our sides. You can prop up your head if you want. You can also prop up, I'm not mirroring you, your right ear onto your right arm, having it elongated. I'm gonna prop up, that way it can speak a little more. So your right leg, for more stability, can be bent. And your left leg will be extended. If you want a little bit more challenge, it's a lot more challenging to stay still, you can straighten out that right leg and try to stay stable. I'm gonna bend mine. All right, and then hover that left leg and then give little raises here. Starting to turn on both, you can even feel it a little bit in the obliques right here, on your left side, you can feel it in your outer glutes. And then hover your leg and start to spin your toes up, spin them down. Spin up, spin down. You can place your hand on your glutes and feel those muscles working. Excellent. Last one up and then down. Awesome. And then flipping sides, you can just flip on over. I just want to still be facing you. Bending the left leg, extending the right leg, taking time to find this. And even just hovering your leg here will work your glutes, or you can start taking little lifts, almost like pulses, but a little bit more. You'll feel it a little bit in your obliques. You'll also feel it a whole lot. Definitely feel it. And then hover and start spinning toes up toes down, toes up, toes down, toes up, toes down. So we're just activating and feeling all these different muscle groups that are going to help us to balance. All right, coming onto your back again. Have your feet planted, bring your right foot to the ceiling and then start taking some circles with that ankle. So warming up your ankles are super important, is a super important thing to do. And now reverse, reverse that circle. And then point and flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. And then start like, like you're trying to grip something and then release, grip something, release, grip something, release. Grip something, release. One more time, grip and release. And then spread all those toes out. Maybe you wiggle them and set that foot down. <laughs> Left leg up to the ceiling. Start taking some circles here. Warming up the feet. We don't spend that much time on our feet in yoga, yet we spend a lot of time on our feet. So we don't focus on our feet, right, to warm them up but we spend a lot of time on our feet. Reverse the circle. And then point, flex, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. One more, flex, point. And then relax the foot, start like you're grabbing something, release. Grab something, release. Grab something and release. One more, grab something and release. All right, planting that foot down. And then taking a little rock and roll until you come to seated. Grab your block, come to stand. Awesome, all right, so I will mirror you here. Placing the block down, low as height, please. And then stepping on your left foot first. Awesome, all right. And then coming to stand, bring your right foot so that it is level with your left foot. So it's hovering, finding this balance. You can be near a wall if needed. Bring your hands to your hips. We'll take some hip dips first. Paying attention to keeping this left hip in. So dip your right hip down, bring it up. Little balance, down and up, down, and up. Then we're gonna keep it up. Just holding here. And we don't have the feedback of the floor under our right foot. 
so it is very odd and my head might be a little bit out of the camera i apologize for that i really want you to focus on the hips it's okay if you don't see my face fully and you can feel that your legs are holding you up your glutes are holding you up your core is holding you up too all right coming out of it Whew. and then switching sides right foot goes on the block starting to hover your left foot to meet the right bringing your hands to the hips this time right hip needs to hug in inhale here exhale dip down inhale up exhale down again you can have your hands on something like a wall inhale exhale inhale exhale and then inhale trying to find that steady spot is a lot easier if you do it not on carpet. <laughs> Finding that balance and then releasing. No more block. All right. So come to stand on your two feet. Bring your hands to your hips or more so your waist, wrapping your fingers around. And then just start rocking forward towards your toes. Feel how your core turns on and then rock back towards your heels. You don't have to do that big of a movement. Rock forward, rock back. And we're just seeing what turns on. So we're about to balance again. All right, so coming to nice neutral standing position, stepping on your left foot first, starting to come onto those right tippy toes. And just like we did before on the block, we need to hug in this left hip and keep the right hip nice and even with it, no dipping. Lift the right knee up towards the chest. My balance is a little off today, funny. We're doing a little balance video. There we go, now it's good. So keeping the hips nice and steady, hugging in towards center, really flex that right foot. Not doing anything fancy today. So inhale here, exhale, lower the knee, tap the toe. Inhaling up, exhale, tap the toe. Inhale up, exhale, tap the toe. Inhale up, exhale, tap the toe. One more, inhale up, exhale, tap the toe. All right, switching legs. Standing on the right leg, coming onto the left toes. Hugging in the left hip this time, keeping your hips nice and even, and then raising up that left knee, keeping the left foot flex, flexed. Find your stability here. You can also be holding on to a wall. Inhale here, exhale, tap the toe down. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. One more. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Awesome. Whew. And wiggle it out. Come to sit on your heels or an easy seat facing you the screen or the top of your mat. All right. That is what I have for you today. A little tutorial slash exploration on standing balances and really finding our balance and noticing that there's certain muscles that we really need to key into and activate in order to feel secure and tall and balanced. All right, thank you so much for joining me today on your mat. I hope that you have the most beautiful day. I will see you soon, bye.